my wife and daughter are at a park and there's a rattlesnake. So I'm headed to my first call, my first rattlesnake relocation call after getting back from the Amazon. And it's a little bit different than normal. Uh, my wife and daughter are at a park riding the uh, unicorn scooter that she got for Christmas and there's a rattlesnake there. I've been to that park, I was there the day after Christmas. I saw something and said, that's gonna be a rattlesnake then and there's a rattlesnake there. So I'm rushing there as fast as I can to get it before it disappears or some other parent gets there and cuts its head off. I told you this was a den. How big? An adult. Is that a rattle? Did you see it? No. Oh. It rattled, it went to right here, and it hid in here because someone no, was poking, stopped. poking with a stick. All right. There's a big old pot pad. Yeah, it might be underground. Yeah, it's denning in there. I'm headed to my first call of 2023. I'm super excited. The gentleman just called. He's clearing out some firewood in his backyard and underneath some of the logs, he found a snake and it's just coiled up. He's not too sure what kind of snake it is, but I'm only like five minutes away. So let's go get the snake. How you doing? Okay, cool. I like your sweatshirt. I love that show. <laughs> and when I used to work, I, I sold medical equipment and they put our equipment on set a bunch of times. Oh, no way. Eh? Oh, it's a gopher snake. Uh, it's called a gopher snake. Oh, it's not even a rattlesnake? No. Aww. Nice. Oh, you're cold. Huh? Yeah. Oh, baby. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'll find him a nice one. So I'll just put him up on the mountain there. You want to hold him? Sure. He's like, yeah, he's like freezing. Here, can you take a picture of Yeah, him? absolutely. Ready, one, two, three. He's cute. Yeah, he is very cute. <laughs> cool. It's a cold day. He's probably been hanging are out in here. here much yeah, been... gopher snakes are, yeah. I'm sure he's been in your yard for a while now. Oh, really? Probably just under that wood. Has that been sitting there a while? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which, you know, not a bad snake to have around for sure. What? I mean, you can leave them back here. I don't care. Yeah, if you have somewhere under a rock or something that's like a little deeper. I'll just hike them back yeah. over there. <laughs> There's some good rocks back there. Yeah, I'll I think... get you a little ladder. If you... <laughs> All right, say hi. Come here, buddy. Let's see, I'll put you right up here. All right, bud. Where do you want to go? To right here? Alright. See you later, Mr. Gopher. Bye, buddy. Sweet! That's a good spot. Yeah. Parkour. Thanks for letting me just let him go over there. Sweet. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well that was a successful mission. Uh, it worked out really well. That guy was super nice. He loved that snake. He wanted, loved it so much he wanted to keep it uh, in his yard, uh, but I couldn't really find a deep, deep place for it. We could have put it back under the logs, but honestly that snake was freezing when I picked it up and the temperatures are really dropping tonight. Just right behind his house is some deep rock cover and that's what you saw me go and uh, put the snake in and the guy held it. So that was, I, that was a good first call and that makes me happy. Ah, oh, felt good to get out and oh, got to hold the snake again. Oh, I missed it, I missed it so much. I cannot wait for more calls. It's pretty in its pack rat nest. Hello. Catch any? Um, potentially. <laughs> there was one right here a minute ago, so. There it is. Where are you, buddy? I hear ya. Hey. 
I see something moving. There it is. I see you. Oh yeah. This big female. It's a female, so I'm gonna make sure there's not more. Yeah, it's a good one, big one. Yeah, for sure. You know what, I should probably, I'll take it out over here, because she's, she's kind of cantankerous, and I'll put her back when I'm done. But you can see from a little bit further away. Yeah, it sounds a little different than what you think, you know? <laughs> we were here the day after Christmas and I, I saw that. I'm like, that's a den. Yeah. <laughs> so, I guess it was. I'm just gonna keep scooting. You gonna keep scooting? Okay, go scoot. Okay, thank you, Daddy. All right. All right, see you guys. Love you. Well, that worked out. Uh, snake went into pack rat nest where it has been denning. It's a large female. I didn't see any other snakes in there though. So normally if it's something like this, we would just leave it there. But this is a playground with a whole bunch of kids running around it. And um, not just to keep the kids safe, that snake would die. It's also an indication of something else that's way more exciting to me. Uh, it's 68 degrees, highs in the upper 40s at night. Rattlesnakes have started to make a move on the surface. We're getting tons of calls for snake fencing today out of nowhere. Uh, it's February 2nd and it has begun. I don't think we're gonna be sleeping again until mid-November and I am ready for it. So now it's time to find a replacement hibernacula for this animal. Um, it was using a pack rat nest, which we often cite as a good example of such a thing. And in this environment, you can see, um, we're not gonna find a rock. So I'm looking for another pack rat nest. I'm just gonna make sure that it is um, away from its range, just a little bit more than normal. In this case, that is because we don't want that snake to even try to return to that same part of its home range, just because of the sensitive nature of it. There's a lot of kids there, a lot of parents with sticks and rocks, and it's a big area too. It's not like normal where it can just pick a pack rat nest that's 60 feet away and be fine. That's also at the playground. So we're looking for uh, the best case scenario here. see the shape of this body now very healthy big fat animal and then the tail just suddenly tapers to a tail that's how you tell this is a female she's not warm she's gonna back up into there from her perspective we want her to feel she got attacked by a predator and then used this feature to escape from that predator being that this is a useful place to remember and use in the future. I'm just gonna make sure she gets down in there because if she just kind of takes off into the open ground and she's gonna get killed by something, but she's playing ball. And there she goes. So I just noticed something coming back from releasing that uh, snake in that rockless environment. Look what's across the street. Bunch of rock. Piled rocks, few layers deep. And this is just going to be irresistible to the many rattlesnakes that are on that, just across the street. Most of these, these communities out here in the desert, they haven't even begun to understand what can be done to just stop the problem before it starts. So yeah, I'm gonna be in that neighborhood in March getting rattlesnakes. And it's not because that there's snakes here. It's because somebody installed a snake magnet next to the houses. We try to teach the homeowners and the homeowners associations, but you know, you ever deal with homeowners association before? 